see, you can only love out of strength. It takes strength to love. You got to speak with purpose. We think that our salvation is based on performance. God is not a man that he's lying. He's gonna lie. You be a vessel that God works. Because you somebody might need your holy presence to save them when they Dr. Will Wade here. Today I want to talk to you about um, projection, and just what a little bit of projection means, and how we as humans project, and how powerful our projections are. Uh, one of the things that I love to do, I love to uh, go to the movies, and when I go to the movies, uh, I sit there with my popcorn and my drink, and I'm just waiting for uh, the movie to begin. <clears throat> and on the screen, the projector projects images on that screen. The lights are lowered, and the story begins to be told by the, the writer of the movie as well as the director, and the actors tell a story. They actually act out a vision. You, through your eyesight, can get caught up into that story. And can be, if it's really well told and well acted, it'll draw you right in. And you can feel the emotions, uh, the excitement, the adventure, the wonder, the fear, the apprehension, the suspense. All of that your body will begin to feel and, and, and chemicals begin to um, uh, just begin to release certain uh, types of reaction in your body. You can even begin to sweat, and certain scenes can make you um, uh, shake, jump because of the music and the sound effects. So projection is very powerful. But projection is just not related to movies. Projection also is related to each individual because we project outwardly what's inside of us. One of the hardest things to accept in life is that much, if not all of your experiences come from your personal projection. Now you deny your shadows, but you also will deny your light. And one of the things that you project outwardly is your fears that you have inside, thinking that you are worthless, thinking that you're powerless, thinking that you're empty. So what you're doing when you have those kinds of thoughts, you are denying the God that's inside of you. You're denying the light that's in you. You're denying your shadows, but you're also denying your light. Because, it's, you know, you start a journey looking for gurus, looking for books, for movies, for entertainment, something to help you teach you about you. The knowledge of you is in you, and your teacher is God's Holy Spirit. So, you know, you need to understand that other men cannot describe you to you. They can perceive based on similarities, hints, and what you tell them, but they can never deliver you to you. The only force in all of nature, in all of the universe that can deliver you to you is God. And once you let allow the Spirit of God, which is in you, to show you you, you begin to project the glorious you that you see and behold within you. Your words will change. You will learn that your identity is attached to your word and your thought. And once your words change and you begin to project the glory of God that's in you outwardly, you will create experiences. You will create experiences to complement your newfound faith and image of yourself. So I'm inviting you to learn how to allow the Spirit of God to give you the true, the true image of you. Jesus said it this way, I don't do anything that I don't see my Father do, and I don't say anything that I haven't heard my Father say. So we have to learn to stop and wait on the Father. In fact, Jesus said this, you, you cannot even see the kingdom of heaven unless you become like a little child. What do little children do? They always ask their parent, 
what something is. Mommy, daddy, what is that? Mommy, daddy, why is this? You have to become innocent and you have to forget your past and start with a fresh future every day and not depend on your past to tell you what you're looking at today. Ask your father, what is this? How am I to do this? Show me myself today. Well, I'm at the end of my time, but I want you to remember that God has plans for your life, and none of those plans include the People of Greater Los Angeles, Apostle Will Wheat has a word from God that is revealing, powerful, and life-changing. Every Sunday, lives are being transformed by this powerful word from God. Families, businesses, church leaders, and the world are hearing God's plans for their lives. And none of those plans include defeat. It has been said that there have been Jesus sightings in his services. So you owe it to yourself to be a part of one of the greatest movements and Jesus sightings that this city has ever experienced. And you can download Apostle Week Sunday messages for free at nccfc.net. NCCFC.net. Sunday services are at 1 p.m. And midweek services are Wednesdays at 7 p.m. There is faith for your destiny at nccfc.net. NCCFC